Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures and today it is Tuesday the 22nd of December. So <coughs> I have been sitting here as you can see uh, cutting out the botanical stuff and I am pleased to say I have actually got it all cut out. I hadn't realised that I'd actually finished. Um, but, excuse me, I just reached to the side of me to pull a few more sheets out and, yeah, they're all gone. <clears throat> so, that's it. All I've got to cut out now is some, um, I think it was numbers that I needed and different coloured um, labels. So, I've got, just putting these all away. So, here's my... Um, top this is all what I've cut, cut out um, I've, on this side these are kind of blank um, tags so the things like this which <clears throat> I will add my own um, embellishments and things on so I've kept them all to the uh, right sorry did I say left and then <clears throat> on the left are all um, you know fully decorated tags i've left a lot uh joined up so it gives me more um doo -doo -doo -doo, more choices of what to do with them and then towards the back oh i've got a few tags that i'd already made um i think they was with the in love art things there were some tags that i started off for the woodland series and didn't um get to do them i just inked them quite a lot and got some um, eyelets on so actually they probably won't go in over that side because they do do you want decorating um yeah at the back i've le left a lot of um tags doubled over and then towards the back we've got uh, some pockets and other elements from the kit so kits <laughs> I don't know why I said kit. So I'm just going to have a look um, what numbers and labels I want. So I think I've got enough grungy type for now. Um, might cut that out because it's, you know, part of a sheet anyway. I think I'll cut that out because, again, that's part of a sheet. Oh, all oh, these I've got. Uh, where they've they've run. I wonder what's down here. That's I'm not sure. It doesn't doesn't feel damp at all down there. Um, yeah, I printed these out from Lorna's shop, uh, tailor made journals. It's her ephemera. Um. One of her ephemera kits. I quite like that though. I think once they cut out and then inked round, that'll make it look even, even grungier. So I'm not cutting those out for now. They will go in in my folder of um, things, things to do. Oh, I might cut those out because they're little ones. Start cutting that out. Definitely don't need any brown. Um, I could probably cut the big ones out as I want them. I have got plenty of butterflies for now. I must have done that on white by mistake. Um, I think I'll cut those out. don't think I need any words for now. I'll cut them out. Hmm. I think I will cut this one out. Is that this? I don't know if that's the new one or not. So I'm going to cut that out. I know I've got plenty of those. Um, I did say I wanted some. Did I say I wanted some green? I think I did. I might cut that out because that's quite mixed and got colours. I don't want another one of those. That's set two. I think that's the same as as that one. So I'll just put that to the side. That's set two. Oh, there must be two different um, pages. 
So yeah, I'll cut both pages out of that one. I'll cut that one out. Oh gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm not cutting that one out and I know I want the green ones. Must be hard to get green ones or something because, um, yeah, there's not many of them at all. So the rest of the labels I will keep keep somewhere else because, yeah, I won't need any for, for quite a while. So I can get them off my um, to-do list. So... Yeah, it looks like I've got quite a few hours of um, still cutting, cutting out. Um, yeah, and there's me thinking, oh, I've nearly done. But at least I've, I've, I have cut out the, um, the kits. And if you saw my pile, you'll know that it was massive. I've now cut, um, printed out the uh, kit pages for all different some some kits i haven't printed out the whole lot some i've just you know done a page or two um the nature's remedy the artemis and tracy fox i have printed the full full lot of that out i haven't printed any on card or vellum um because at this point i'm not sure what i'm making yet i know some of the starting off things, the embellishments and stuff, but I've obviously not thought about um, big projects and things. And I have actually got that um, Tim Holtz vellum. So I might use that um, in the botanicals, really. Um, and I think I might use some of the Tim Holtz paper in it as well. Um, I might definitely use some of the, the scraps, actually, what I've got left um, from doing the the mass makes. So even if it's just for, you know, a few pockets and, and things like that, because especially the back um, of the main... Oh, I'm, not, I'm not explaining this out. Um, you know, the what you would call the decorative side um what's more like a wallpaper type side i might use some some of that um but we shall we shall see i'm gonna say i've not got that far in in thinking and just thinking about how to start the actual um series up um so i did think I'd probably start with getting all my stamps out and stamping some tabs up and things like that so we've got them for you know embellishing so it saves keep getting your stamps out when you're um in the middle of making something because i know myself when i'm doing something i think oh i could just stamp it there and then you think oh i've got to get all that out and you know sort through my stamps which one do i want and i've not got a lot of stamps so um, you know, if you've got drawers of them, it, it must be horrendous having <laughs> to um, get, them, get everything out. So that's some more green ones done. So yes, I really do need um, green ones. So if anybody knows a kit, what has got um, just green labels in, um, do let me know. So I'm just looking for one what's quite started off oh there's not many in this one so I'll do this one so I'll save the rest of these and what I do when I get up in the morning um, I go down and make a cup of tea and I come straight up in my craft room you know I'm terrible and I always put Tina on from Shabby Dabby Doodle every single morning she's the first person that um that I watch in the morning and normally Tina's videos are about an hour so that suits me down to the ground so I just sit with my cup of tea waking up and I tend to sit and either make some notes um, make my list of to do's for the day or if I've got some cutting to do or some printing out to do that is like the time that I do that so um 
then after that I get on with my day but yeah it's kind of now my morning uh, routine and it has been for the past year really um, so yeah that's what, what I do do in the morning I know people watch me with their morning coffee it's it's a bit weird um thinking that you're in you know somebody's day-to-day -day, um routine and it, it's a lovely feeling um yeah it's really very nice so I'm just popping these into the number one so it looks again like I've got loads of brown stuff so this um numbers are from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah and I absolutely love the blues in this and there was some greens in it which I think I've probably cut out and used already but um, the green was really oh it's there there's one there I hate cutting ovals out I really do um, I, f I find it really um, difficult to, to do definitely getting better because like they used to look absolutely horrendous and I used to cut some out and I had to throw them in the bin because there was there was that terrible um they, they look nothing like an oval at all and even inking them um wouldn't hide how bad they are so yeah I'm definitely getting better but every time I get an oval I think oh no can't be doing with them especially small ovals but they look really nice on your project because it gives it a little bit of interest. Oh, I've got some exciting news, but um, I'm going to wait till the new year to tell you. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've got some really exciting news. Um, I've been asked to be on somebody's design team. Um, so, yeah, I shall... Uh, share that with you next year um, I think it'll be very good so I am thinking about um, what I can do um, to showcase um, the things so that will be exciting and I'm hoping to do um, a guest design team for somebody as well so hopefully um, that will pop up in in the new year too so very exciting well it's, it's something nice to to end um the year on i was just watching um a video from sharon at the mud paper uh crush and um, she's looking back at uh, projects that she's done this year and which have been a favorites and things like that i thought that was a really uh, good idea which makes me think next year um i'll perhaps keep like document things a bit better so um we can look back on these things um because obviously as soon as i've videoed and i've put the things up on um youtube i then delete the videos because um obviously it, it takes up so much memory and if if you're videoing and then you suddenly run out of memory it just stops um so yeah i keep my phone pretty um like I don't have any personal photos on it or anything uh, because it is it is all just taken up with um, video data or I don't know memory or whatever it is so um, yeah I perhaps need to um, start keeping some things on like a memory stick so so I've got them to um, to look back at um, but yeah, it, it made me think about the first video that, that I did and I agonised over it for so long, should I do a video? Um, and yeah, it just made me think of, of that. It was, um, yeah, it was nice. I mean, and when you think about it, my first video was only, um, I don't know if it was the end of March or if it was the, the beginning of, of April, but yeah, I was so nervous. Um, <clears throat> well, people who've watched it said that they couldn't tell that I was nervous, but I really was nervous. And I did think like, oh, perhaps, you know, about 20 people would watch it. 
Um, but yeah, I must do that project again actually because it was um, with circles and I made like little bird's nests um, out of burlap and um, the tag inside. I think it had a bird on it so when the tag was in in the pocket um, it looked as if the bird was actually um, sitting on the nest. Um, and then and I put eggs in the in the nest as well. Uh, just cut some out from from a digital. Yeah, it was quite cute. Might do it again. Concentration. So not a lot's happening today. Um, I've got all the winter things up now on um, Etsy. I won't be posting anything out. Um, until the 6th of January um, so both of my shops are, are still still open but um, yeah I'm, I'm not actually gonna post out now till the 6th of, of January um, I have changed it on my Dreamcatcher shop I must go in the paper shop and and change my uh, process in time because um, the UK is in a right mess with um, parcels and letters um, there's pictures up on the news and that with absolutely piles and piles of mail so yeah they've took on thousands of staff and stuff to to clear it but um, yeah I'm having things what would normally take two days to get to someone and you're lucky if you're getting them within seven seven days so I think it's it's safer not to post anything at the moment because I'm guessing you know losses are gonna go well gonna be higher than than normal um and I think it's a bit silly keep you know adding to to their kind of chaos so i'm gonna hold off from from posting um i don't think there's a lot a lot more to say um yeah so i got um all the winter projects up so that was nice um now i feel like i can steam ahead with um the botanicals i've made the first couple of videos for the botanicals which will go up in the new year um, which is just looking at, um, you know, the kits, the books and other things. Um, and then I think the first one will start on, I don't know if it's the 5th of January or the 6th of January. Um, so, yeah. And it's been nice, obviously, I've done the last Tim Holtz. I don't think you'll have seen it yet. Um, yeah, the last mass make of the Tim Holtz I've done the last um, Edith Holden the 3 and 15 challenge so it's um, you know everything that I'd started it's everything's all been tied up which is a nice a nice feeling to go into the um, you know the end of the year and be like yes everything's everything's done um, and then you can focus on new things i don't know why i didn't cut that out with my um it's because i'm busy talking um with my puncher it's not quite big enough i need one i've got this one's i think one and a half inches and this one's two so the one and a half is is too small for some things and then the two's too big Oh my goodness. Um it's gonna be oh no that surprises me. But a lot of the times it's um Tanya just got rid of some you know what I'm just gonna carry on cutting it. Um but yeah sometimes one of them's too small and one of them's too big. It's as if I need a one and three quarter, but it's like oh um uh, and I've got the one, the one and a half and the two, and I think it's it's enough to have. So, yeah, I either do them 
end up doing them too small if um, if they don't quite quite fit because um, especially when you've got like a page of them if it's just one I don't mind um, cutting it out I'm gonna do these a bit a bit jagged these are lovely um, of these ages and I have used them quite a few times they're um, uh, it's before Tracy Fox used to put the names of the kits on them I think it's Urban Botanicals or something like that um, yeah it's a really nice kit it's not a it's not a big kit you don't get any uh, pages or anything um, you get some like tag bases and then there's things like these things to um, lay them lay them up with so but it's got lots of little embellishments what, what come in very handy for things I want to say like these little squares you can use them for lots of lots of things so yeah I'm gonna sit here I think another half an hour um, probably get through a few more sheets and I'll save myself some for, for tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not at work till one tomorrow. So if I get up early enough, I will have a bit of time um, in the morning to have me hour of waking waking up. Um, so yeah, could get these these totally finished, which will be, be very nice. Um, Later today, well, about nine ten o'clock tonight, we're going and doing the food shopping for Christmas, and I'm gonna get enough to last us the next two weeks because, um, yeah, I don't, apart from work, I don't want to be going going out. Um, yeah, it's well, one, it's cold in winter, and I don't like to go out between Christmas and New Year anyway. Um, to be quite honest, I'd prefer two weeks on the settee with, with my duvet, eating chocolates and watching films. <laughs> if You know, if I could get away with it, uh, that's what I would choose, choose to do, to be quite honest. So, yeah, and I just always feel like, oh, you've been spending money for months and months. You've been buying food for weeks and weeks. Um, what else possibly do you want to go out and buy? Um, so yeah, I do tend to stay stay in for as long as I can after Christmas. So and then with the added fact of, um, you know, the thing that's happening at the moment, um, yeah, I think keeping away from as many people as as possible is is the best thing to do. So yeah, I'm gonna do do a big shop and um i'm even going to get some frozen vagin stuff um and i've got long life milk and things like that um but i've seen a headline today saying that um yeah people are now going in again and emptying the supermarkets and oh, so I said to my partner this morning like we might go shopping tonight and there'd be no actual food there which is yeah it's not a great time is it um because obviously tomorrow we're both at work and then it's Christmas Eve um and like you know we've only got tomorrow uh, tonight to go and do it so who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe it was just one supermarket at one place. You know, you you don't know, do you? What you know, what you see, um, sometimes isn't isn't correct. But um, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. And yet, all the supermarkets have said that there is no need to panic buy. All the food for Christmas is already in the uk they've already got it they're not going to run out obviously these supermarkets i've i've been supermarkets for years and years like they know how much of everything they're gonna sell and obviously the over order because they don't want to run out themselves at, at any time so i i just don't i don't get it um 
but yeah, we shall see. Um, but if we've got all his chocolates and things like that. It's just um, actual meat and, and veg and, and fruit and cheese and did I say bread? Um, that kind of stuff. So, I'll have to have beans on toast otherwise. I don't think. Um, I don't think we'd be bothered to be honest. And so we're gonna I bought some new games for Christmas. Um, we like playing Cluedo, and um, they've brought a new version of Cluedo out. And so I've bought that, and um, she's having Jenga for Christmas as well. And I bought some DVDs. And we've still got a load of Christmas DVDs, what we've still not watched. And we have Netflix and <clears throat> there's loads on there. So, um, yeah. And we can just have a, a duvet <laughs> day. Um, but obviously, like, we need essentials. So... I'll probably come on tomorrow and I'll be like, yeah, the supermarket was absolutely full. There was lots of everything. But, yeah. But I think, you know, people see these stories and then think, oh, my goodness, I need to go and check my supermarket. And then I best go and buy this stuff just in case. Um, so I don't think we ought to report on things like that, really. It's just scaremongering. Um, and, you know, I sometimes wonder if they don't do it on purpose so actually people do go out and, and buy everything because they're worried that people aren't going to come out. Um, so, Whew, that's enough of that, gosh. Um, so, yes, apart from, from that, um, I haven't got a lot to actually do today. I think it's about two o'clock now. So I think after I've filmed this and got it uploaded and put onto Patreon and found a, a lovely winter picture to go with it, um, I think I'm going to get showered and dressed because I'm still in my pyjamas because I live in them. Um, and yeah, what am I going to do? <laughs> What am I going to do? Um, oh, I know what I did want to have a mess about with. Um, I obviously want to use the the Tim Holtz and the Edith Alden pieces um, that I've been making. So I was going to sit, actually, and have a mess about with some file folders and see um, what I'll come up with. So I might... I like just get everything out um, for that. You're probably thinking, why are you even cutting those tiny things out? Well, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. But then I thought, well, actually, these, these are the things that I wanted for when I did the snippet uh, roll. Um, so, yeah, these really tiny things that are really irritating to cut out actually come you know, come really in handy. So I think I've done quite a lot, haven't I? Um, they're going to go in my labels. They're going to go in my kind of tags. They're going to go in with little um, ephemera pieces, which is, I think I just had that. So I'll pop those in, in there. In fact, I think I'll pop those in because I can't... Um, these are all going to be things that I make clusters with or stick on to tags and, and that kind of thing. I thought if I put them in with me, tags and that, they'll just get just get lost. Oh, is that the, the exact same one again? <laughs> oh, I must have really thought that I, I needed lots of them. Right, let's do, let's do the calendar. And so 20 seconds, isn't it? It's some holly. Let's have a look. So there we go. Um, you can probably still tell I'm, I'm still a little bit colded up. I don't feel poorly at all. I'm still just got quite a dry 
um, dry throat. Um, yeah, and all of a sudden that, my nose will just start to run for about 10, 15 minutes and then it goes again. So I think it's just the, the after, uh, you know, and I think because we've all, you know, been busy running around for Christmas and, um, you know, I think you're just a little run down, aren't you, at this time of year and then with the weather changing and things like like that um i really should um probably start taking like vitamin c at the end of uh summer because um i always do tend to get one really like you know long cold um and then i'm normally all right after after that but i've been really lucky that didn't send me into a flare with my illness um it just made me more achy and tired than than i normally feel so it wasn't it wasn't too bad at all anyway i'm starting waffling again aren't i i could just sit here and just cut the whole lot up and just waffle I'm going to let you go. So, I shall see you tomorrow. I will film first thing because, like I say, I shall be back at work tomorrow. And then um, I shall film Christmas Eve before I go to, to work. So, yeah, they won't be very long ones. And they probably... Tomorrow's will be in here. But uh, Christmas Eve, um, you might get me putting my makeup on or something. <laughs> or running down to work <laughs> quick vlog on on the way to work well on my lunch break yeah i've got quite a long shift as well tomorrow so oh well i'm going to say i have just had two weeks off because obviously i had a week off holiday and then a week off sick um so i'm doing it again aren't i right see you tomorrow bye